In this particular workout, I'll explain you that how SAS code can be generated at times using Excel functions and which can help reducing your human effort a lot. And then I'm going to show you that how you can do the same thing using SAS macro so that if at all you are not interested in going to Excel, you can do everything directly in SAS itself. So let me take a data set and a particular distribution and explain you the case. So here is the data set which is and it has got a variable let's say called y which has taking value 1031389 to 1031539. So if you look at 1031 is fixed it's actually up to from 380 to 540 kind of. Now let's understand that somebody wants you to create 20 equal size bin equal size not in terms of number of accounts but rather in terms of bin size and then you need to calculate number of record in each of the bucket so what we can do let me just first show you excel and then I'll show you how to do it using SAS so here is the minimum 1031380 that's what is and upper is like that and you want if you look at the difference is 160 and because 20 buckets are required you need to make each bucket of size 8 now in fact you I have put a little formula here this is like equal to min and then this is like this value plus this which is the width into how many times I want and here I had put one two all those things if you look at here I have used little syntax so if it is less than 10 I am putting 0 otherwise quotes and that's why all these group are coming like y underscore 0 1 0 2 0 3 and that's a pretty useful thing because that way it will always come in the sorted order otherwise one will be followed by 10 11 like that if you look at this whole formula you know I have this is assigned here and this is always again like this value plus 2 into this 8 and that's how it is coming so using formula I put that and here I use the concatenation if y less than so if you look at this is like a text there I have concatenated this value then ygp equal to y underscore and then I created this syntax which is putting 0 otherwise you know directly the group number and that's how this whole syntax came now I took this syntax and pasted it here on the SAS and I'm going to create this data set which is called CHK let's take a look so I created this data set so essentially from Excel I copied and pasted the code let me see if at all it has run so it has run perfectly it has created another data set in the output data set if you look at another variable has come now obviously I can do the proc freq and can I, I can find the count in each of the bucket I have got those count what I have done here I just have copied and pasted this count here now let me generate this whole syntax using SAS itself so that I don't even need to come to Excel so what I am going to do I am just calculating first the bin size which is just this value minus this divided by 2 20 and this will give me bin size of actually 8 I'll show you when I'll put options symbol gen it will ac actually execute to 8 now let me show you a very tricky way by which you can actually generate this whole thing that I was doing inside SAS so in the first case I am just going to generate this group this one or 0102 like that and this the upper bucket boundary let me show it to you how I am doing so what I have done this is a data I am putting GP equal to 0 which is like essentially for in the beginning it is 0 and boundary equal to 1031380 which is the lower boundary now I am just running a do loop I equal to 1 to 20 and GP equal to GP plus 1 so first time it will become 1 second time GP will become 2 like that I'm also going to create another variable which is GP underscore 1 so if it is less than 10 
it will put 0 and GP so it will put 0 1 0 2 like that but when it is 10 or more it will directly put a blank character and GP so it will put 10 11 like that I am creating the boundary which is boundary plus bin size so first time it will boundary plus 8 second time it will be boundary plus 8 plus 8 because now the boundary will take the value of boundary plus 8 so essentially if you look at here it is boundary plus 8 then you know this time this boundary plus 8 like that is have going to happen in SAS so let me show you this and this output is very important if you are not going to put this will not come in this particular data set and after that the end is actually for this do loop so when you are going to run it it is going to create a data set called hold and the whole data set will have GP boundary if you look at 1031313883986 and it has created the GP one now in fact here I am going to create the SAS syntax and put it in the data set so if you look at this data set has got 20 rows which is sufficient to generate these 20 lines of the code which I ultimately require let me show you how I am going to do that for that actually you use call execute step so what I am going to do I am putting set hold so it will run for 20 records because this whole data set has 20 record data null so you are not creating anything so first time if under, underscore and underscore equal to 1 what I am saying put data check underscore 1 set this so essentially this is going to put a syntax like this data check underscore 1 and sas help keep y and I am saying that execute if y less than equal to boundary then y gp equal to gp underscore 1 and I am putting code here so that you know it comes as a character variable and when underscore n is greater than 1 and less than 20 I am putting this syntax else if y less than equal to that boundary then like that and for last you know I don't need to check the condition I am putting y group equal to this for n equal to 20 and towards the end I am just putting the execute run so that this can get ready let me show it to you so when I'm going to run this command, let me show you how the log comes. Log will be a pretty interesting thing to look at. So look at how the log has come. The call execute generated this code. Data check one said this. If y less than this, then group one, otherwise group two. And this is some space character is there, but that doesn't matter for the time being. But if you look at exactly whatever syntax we were generating in Excel has got generated in SAS directly by the method of call execute. Now I can do the proc frec and this time look at earlier I was using check data set when I did I'm now this time I'm doing on check underscore one. This I have copied and pasted in Excel just to show you that no matter how you are doing it is absolutely generating those values very much that way that we wanted and it has come in very much in the order this conversion is just happening in excellent so don't worry on that in at SAS end it's coming very much 0102 like that so if you look at I was able to use call execute to generate the SAS syntax for which otherwise I was taking the help of SAS to do is sorry Excel to do that